It's 602. The search for Cody Bigsby stretches now into its fourth day and there's been some big developments, so let's get you caught up. Hampton police are expanding their search area, but take a look at what crews were dealing with last night. All that fog doing them no favors in the search for the four year old, but perhaps the biggest development to emerge in the past 24 hours. Police named Cody's father, Corey Bigsby, as a person of interest. Now, let's be clear, he's not charged with any crime at this point. Yeah, but investigators say the evidence and what Corey has been telling them just isn't adding up. We also learned that he faced an assault charge back in 2018. And Angelique Arentock dug into the court documents. We'll hear from her in just a moment. But first, let's get to how we got here. Casey Baylor is live at the command center. And Casey, this is all part of this slow drip of information from investigators. Yeah, Ashley, we're slowly starting to see some of that information unfold each and every day now. Uh, but the evidence that police have gathered is making them look a little bit closely at one specific person. Now, police have narrowed in on Cody's father, Corey Bigsby, naming him a person of interest in the case. Corey reported Cody missing Monday, stating he last saw Cody at 2 a.m. And when he woke up at 9, he told police Cody wasn't home. But authorities say that story just doesn't match evidence found earlier this week. They say Corey is at police headquarters and he's voluntarily answering police questions. Now, Sergeant Reggie Williams with Hampton Police say the division is asking the public for more information about him. Where he goes, where he shops, who he's with, and what he does. And taking a look at this search, police have also announced they are expanding the area in which they are searching. They're looking at about a mile away from the apartment and looking at some areas they have not checked before. We're live in Hampton. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Okay, Casey, thank you. And now that Hampton police are calling Corey Bigsby as their top person of interest, we're learning more about an assault and battery charge against him back in 2018. Angelique Arentock tracked down the court documents to find out exactly what happened. The dispatched officer said they responded on June 23rd, 2018 in reference to a domestic assault. According to court records, an officer met with a woman who said she shares two children with Bigsby and was pregnant with a third. The woman told officers that Bigsby accused her of cheating, threatened to kill her and continued to yell. She told officers the abuse from Bigsby used to be verbal but turned physical that day. The court documents also showed that three children lived with the woman and Bigsby at the time, including Cody. According to Juvenile and Domestic Relations Court, the case was null prost on December 18th, 2018. 18. That means either the prosecutor or the woman chose not to move forward with the charge, but could bring the case back in the future. The court could not offer me a specific reason as to why the case was null prost. In Hampton, Angelique Aaron Talk, 13 News Now. All right, Angelique, thank you. You know, Cody's disappearance has sparked a ton of questions, and that's where the Verify team steps in. First, you know, we just talked about Cody's father, but is Cody's mother also a person of interest in this case? We heard from police yesterday and they say they are not ruling her out as a possible person of interest. We know she has been questioned by police. Next, are police searching the Hampton steam plant? We showed you this video from earlier in the week. It's the same spot where the body of Noah Tomlin was found back in 2019. So yes, police were searching the steam plant, but that search has since ended and crews have moved on to other areas. Now, finally, a question police are getting a lot. Are they looking for volunteers to help with the search? Well, yes, police have been using people in the community to help out with the search efforts, and there is a form on the Hampton PD website. They will open that as volunteers are needed, though as of now they are not. Police are also asking anybody who lives in the Buckrow area to search their own property. And as the search area expands, we'll be there covering the story just as we have from the start. New information is emerging day by day. Trust 13 News Now to keep you updated.